hey guys it's hannah what's up how are you guys doing i'm back with another video and today i will be reviewing and doing a look with the glam light ice cream dream palette so this is what the palette came in it's empty at the moment and this is what the palette looks like the cone looks like a mirror and the ice cream itself has like little sprinkles in it um as you can see there's a special person in the back it's my little sister rachel she's doing work apparently she'll fall asleep if she goes in her room so she's in yeah and this is what the inside of the palette looks like of course it's like pastel some shimmers a little bit of neutral white so i was watching some videos and reviews on this and everybody does different looks but i was watching ariana perez and her look look really nice so i'm going to see if i can kind of replicate it i don't know I just watched it and I think I kind of forgot how it went, but you know, it makes it all about creativity. So let's do this. I use the P. Louise base in Rumor Zero. So yeah. Mm, let's see. I know she started off with that color. All right. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this video. Okay, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Vegan Eyeshadow Brush in the number 6. I've been using this a lot recently. Since I'm doing my makeup a lot often, I'm using this one to pack it on. But I remember she used green tea first. So that would be this shade right here. So I'm going to use the mirror right in front of me. I'm not going to be putting any tape this time. But let me just... It's very nice. So let me just blend this in right here. Oh, well, that's very pigmented for a pastel shade. I'm impressed. So let me see. Let me just blend this right here. So there we go. That's one shade, and then I know she used, what other shade she used? I think it was, I think she used Honey Lavender. I don't remember if it's um, Honey Lavender here, or Cookie Monster, so I think I'm going to put Honey Lavender here, and then put Cookie Monster in the middle, because I know she put a middle shade, but let me use Honey Lavender, and I'm going to use this brush. This is from MSQ, from an Amazon I got this off of Amazon, but we're going to use this brush. We're going to dip into Honey Lavender. Let me see if this purple's going to pick up. Did J Park come out with like a new music video or something? Yeah. Um. Well, I, 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 I saw it. Uh, it. It's really good. I was watching all his recent um music videos. I don't know, this man's 31. He just did a thirst tweet thing. Yeah, it was funny. Right. Yeah, I have no idea what to talk about, guys, so. Who? Cool. Not, not current friends, old friends. Of course, the light turned off. This is just a random brush. I'm going to put Cookie Monster right in the middle between between Honey Lavender and Green Tea. So I'm going to put this right in the middle here. So. Oh my god, Hannah, how does Sesame Street start? Sunny days. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> you said Cookie Monster. And I started trying to think of how the intro goes. So I was like, how's it go again? And I started getting sad because I'm like, oh, did I forget? Okay, so. This is very pretty, guys. I'm going to come in a little bit closer, but you can see 
the different colors and i'm really liking this i didn't think i would like it so much like the pastels are beautiful so i'm going to just deepen that up a little bit more it sounds like can you stand the rain Summertime, my baby, can you stand the rain? If I keep saying off. I'm going to put honey lavender again. I just want to make sure that's prominent right here in the inner corner. So let me make sure that's there. Man, can we wait till anime for like 2020? I know. 2021. Not 2020. 2021. Excuse me. And then we're going to put this right here. Oh, look at Ichigo. Ichigo Kurosaki. Okay, okay, okay. Rukia Kuchiki. Orenji Yabara. What? Then we got Chad and we got Uryu. So, um, I saw her put what shade was it okay um she put what color was it she put pistachio here oh gosh the light keeps turning off which is crazy <laughs> sorry guys if this video is all over the place but please bear with me thank you don't, bear don't pay attention to that little purple grape back there so i'm gonna put pistachio up here because that's what i saw ariana do so I'm going to put pistachio. I'm using the BH Cosmetics brush number eight. <laughs> Guys, today in it, excuse me. So I'm going to be putting the shade up here and I'm going to be packing it and trying to blend it. I don't really be, I don't really do looks like this, guys. <laughs> This looks so weird. I am so sorry if this this look looks so weird. But you know, it's all about practice, trial and error. Along with having no light. <sighs> Alright, so just going to blend pistachio up here. I might even pack it on a little bit just to Alright, let me see. It doesn't look it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't it really doesn't look that bad. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this thing today. Plug it and plug it back in. Okay, hold that thought. What? Now I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. Oh. One second. Why'd you pause like that then? I thought you saw like a fly or something. And I'm back. Oxki pokski. Let's just put these in here. Okay, now that that's kind of blended out, I saw her kind of cut crease the um the thing, the um some of the colors. She used a Q-tip and some micellar water, so. I'm going to try that. I'm trying a lot of things I've never tried before, but you know. I'm going to use this mirror to do that. Oh, I know where it's fine. Wonder why. I have no idea. It's fine. Well, shouldn't be doing that over the palette. Oh God, you know what am I doing? Oh, look how cute you look in the back. Okay, story time. Today, me and my sister we're doing Just Dance 2020. I haven't done that since Christmas, and I decided to do that today. And my sister helped me. She got a lot of points. She she hit Mega Star, <laughs> and she opened a whole new avatar. We did. We did Taki Taki. That's what she did it. That's what she won. She beat me. Which is totally fine. Then we did um Blackpink's do da do da Um before that by myself I did Like It and I did 2NE1 the K-pop girl group. That's what we that's what I did. 
And I got Superstar on both of those. For someone who hasn't done Just Dance in like years, I did pretty well. I don't know if I'm doing this right, guys. I really don't, but. I really don't. I have nothing, I have no idea what to talk about. This light is starting to irritate me. Just talk about your hopes and dreams. I talk about that almost every video, bro. I'm joking, I was just sarcastic. Oh, I talk about that almost every video. Yee. I'm not that interesting, but. Oh, don't say that. You're hella uh, interesting. Okay, Rachel, thanks for the. Thanks for. No problem. <laughs> oh, it is light. Honestly. Oh, there we go. Um, oh yeah, guys, I'm planning on doing a drugstore tag um video where I've seen those um going around a lot where you know you um there are different questions and they ask what kind of drugstore products are your favorite, what's new, what's old, what's your favorite foundation, what's your favorite primer. And then there's a palette tag that I saw colorful Camille do, and I've also watched other people do as well. But they talk about their favorite palettes like neutral, colorful, greens things like that so i will be doing a video are you okay <laughs> yeah i'm okay <laughs> all right um i will be doing a video on with that on that because that seems a lot that was terrible it seems like fun i so. choked on the water uh so let me see i'm going to be using <laughs> a flat brush to do that you're boring i mean say like what you've been watching lately like like in what sense like on tv or streaming like, um what shows what things what have I been watching? You boring piece of toast. <laughs> I'm boring. I keep telling you guys, I'm boring. boring. I'm boring you, as heck. You feel boring if you make yourself boring. I mean, I think like, it's interesting. Like, um, what I've been watching. All I watch is anime and, like, Asian dramas. And then sometimes, like, regular shows I watch are, like, Law & Order SVU. Such as... I don't know S V U. I watch Bones. I watch Criminal Minds. Oh, I, my God. I like, I like criminal series um, and things She's like sick. that. And things like that. Um, like my sister hates this, but I've like if I if I read the synopsis of Bro. the if I read the synopsis of the um How the episode I... and stuff like that. I've watched Criminal Minds, Law, Law and Order SVU, and Bones like a thousand times. But when I run a rewatch it, do your makeup. You wasting time. You all right, all right, all right. So this chick over here, Hannah, basically, she's watched. All of Criminal Minds and Law and Order. So when she wants to watch with me or anyone else in the family, instead of going to the next episode, she will skip a whole season. Or <laughs> don't look away. I'm, I'm ten, doing my makeup, bro. Ten or five episodes away after the, the one episode we watched because she's like, oh, I don't like how how this episode went, or I don't like how these people died, or how how it went down. I'm like, ba 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 basically, basically, like, if no one dies or if there's no serial killer in the episode, I'm not gonna watch it. If it's like, if it's a suicide one or if someone gets kidnapped, I'm not watching it. Like, I've watched all those episodes before, but when I'm re watching it, I just wanna watch the ones where there's killing. My sister says something's wrong with me. There is something wrong with you. How can you skip an episode? Like if, like if you're just getting kidnapped or if you just or if someone commits suicide which you know that's not a joke or anything but if someone commits suicide or if you know someone gets kidnapped i'm not gonna watch it or you know that's why i can't watch nothing with her no, but if there's like serial killer and suicides then i watch it me and my brother we don't watch nothing with her i i like law and order because most of the episodes are like you know but if i had to say i like i love criminal minds that one's like all over the place you just have something for the button to keep on clicking on Yep, it's fine. My wrist is gonna hurt by the end of this anyway. It's fine. Your voice? My 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 um fingers. I meant. Oh. It's fine. Yeah. So. Yeah, but um. But this is what sucks. Not sucking right now. But she's watched almost everything that's going on. That she doesn't have anything to watch. Like she will literally be like, "I'm rewatching the show because I don't have anything else to watch." When it's like, when I'm just telling her, "Why don't you slow down?" Stop watching everything so quickly. Take it as a time. I watch stuff and binge watch things. But Jesus Christ, it'll come out the Saturday. I'm gonna put French Vanilla, which is and by Monday she'll finish watch everything. Not the season true. of a show. So or I'm gonna watch use French Vanilla. My like, Hannah, this is why you don't have anything to do or watch because you watch it so quickly. All right, I don't know if this brush will work. She used her finger. She ain't gonna listen to me. I'm I'm listening to you, baby. But I'm going to use French vanilla like this. But those are the shows that I watched that, you know, 
But if we're talking about anime, like I said in my video, but I didn't post the video that I'm talking about this, so you know. But my favorite um anime is One Piece, Detective Conan, all of the JoJo Bizarre Adventures. Like people be sleeping on JoJo, don't know why. Funny thing is when JoJo's Bizarre Adventure came on Netflix, when they were saying, "Oh, it's coming out this at this time," people were like, "Oh my gosh, JoJo! I want to watch it. I never heard of it." And I was like to myself, "Y'all just realized JoJo?" I was like, "Ugh!" I was cringing. JoJo's don't sleep on JoJo. It's one of it's one of my favorites. Who's my favorite Jo star? Um, Jotaro Kujo. Um, that's my favorite. Um. Um, yo, what's good? Joe Star. Um, who else is my favorite? I love. Well, he's not a Joe Star, but because his father had a star, Giorno Giovanni. Um, who's y'all? Giorno Giovanni. I love Jojo Lean. Oh yeah, she's speaking and stuff. Um, she can. She can. Joseph, I love Joseph. My least favorite one is yeah, Jonathan. Hi. Well. Because he didn't have, like, um a stand and stuff like that, of course, it's kind of, I guess, you know, boring, I guess. But he was he was a righteous man up to the end, even though he did die at a very, very young age. Um, I forgot Joseph's father's name. Oh, his name was George. Uh, George. Okay. His name was George. Um, he never g gained any, uh, um, any hormone or anything like that. Which, you know, sucked and he died young too. Of course, um, Joseph's mom, Lisa Lisa, a master at hormone. I'm doing some homework right now. I'm doing some work. I started rewatching it on um, Netflix again and I already finished Joseph's arc and now I'm on Jotaro's arc where they travel to Egypt with Avdo, Polnareff, Kakuin. And of course, Joseph and Jotaro. Okay, bye. And of course, there'd be a, diff a bunch of different stain users on the way to Egypt. Um, of course, they defeat all of them. Of course, you lose some people along the way. You know, I want to hear that. You lost Abdel, but you know, he, he was alright. Um, who else? Uh, sadly, the only ones to survive is Polnareff, Joseph. Stop spoiling things for people who've never watched It's Joseph fine. Adventure. Yeah, but I'm so sorry, but I'm yeah, just explaining. Yeah. If you weren't, you wouldn't be saying nothing. Fine, next one. People sleep on Detective Conan. Oh, I don't hear a lot of people talk about Detective Conan. I feel like people know a lot more about Joseph, jo if Jojo. If you Japan, you probably hear Yeah, yeah. In, in Japan, that's more popular. They have a whole statue theme park they have a city of the town yeah dedicated to conan but that's one of my favorites i remember watching tbs and you know conan o'brien show and conan went to japan and thought <laughs> i was like this is conan town and it was conan the detective okay but i'm and loving was, i'm loving this if you want to watch a good show and you're subscribed to hbo or hbo max watch lovecraft country that shit is dope especially if you're into Especially if you're of the African American race, you don't have to be. But if you're interested in learning about more, I don't think the blue will go. Black culture and all that kind of stuff, and into horror. If you like a mix of like Stranger Things, but with a hint of Black culture into it, watch Lovecraft Country. It's super good. Okay, I guys. have not caught up to it though. Oh, if you have Amazon, watch Amazon Prime. Watch The Boys. Okay. I haven't caught up to the boys either, but that stuff is dope. So she used I don't know what she used, but she did a wing with um I don't know what she used, but it looked like she used like a liner or something. I was going to use this P. Louise basic brights in banging blue, but as you can see there's a lot of purple and mint on my eyes already. So I'm wondering if I should go in with purple or pink. I feel like pink will weird it out, but I don't know, Rachel pick one, purple or pink? Excuse me, While you're doing that, I will do the next eye. Mm. So I'm going to be doing the next eye, guys. Well, like Barbie. Well, she, I'm going to be doing a liner with that. I don't know how that's going to work out. I take the smell that you bring. 
Oh yeah, guys. If you want to know something about me, I'm exposing myself right now. Oh gosh, my finger Okay, so I love anime. I love Korean. I mean, Asian dramas in general. Huh. Damn. Um, hold on. It's just not for you today. I know, girl. I know. Purple. Let me see if it'll go over here. Did you just use both? You just have to use one only. No, I have to use one. No, like nice. You know, let me just switch them in my hand. I just close my eyes. All right, but that's what I was saying. I love um, Asian dramas. I love um, anime and things like that. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you about this drama. It's Chinese drama, which oh, is um, shit. they have different ones. Um, I but the original is Taiwanese. It's called. Um, you're my destiny. Oh, baby, I love you. She's singing the Korean one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's on Netflix. The original one is Fated to Love You, and that's the Taiwanese drama oh, and shit. things like that. Come on, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'll just give you the rundown oh, of what it's about. It. This been out for years. It's been out for years. It, it, this drama is from 2005, the original one's from 2005. Um, so it's basically... Hey, tell me what hand to choose. Uh, the right one. Why is it dominant? Alright. Alright, you got purple. Okay. I'm switching this around like crazy back Okay, here. so it's purple then. I might do one and one on each eye. So, the drama is... mama's favorite color? We should just chose that. Mom, oh, mom's favorite color is purple. Yeah, that's why I just said Okay. Like, you should, you should, we should be said, oh, what with mom? And then... Anyways. Okay, so... The um the original show the original one is called You're My Destiny or Fated to Love You, and it's basically about a everything. All right, Destiny. it's basically about a girl who's a sticky note girl. She you know, um she's always used by people. She's basically just a pushover. She's a pushover. She's used by people. She can never say no. She doesn't take care of herself or she has things low like that. She has low self esteem and she's dating this guy who she really likes and he she thinks that he thinks she's cute or something like that. And they he's basically, he's actually a jerk, a dude. He's a prick and an asshole. He cheats on her and things like that. And then meanwhile, there's this rich guy who's a um, Moogle. Is that how you call say it? Like he's a rich guy to a, he's a rich heir to a company. And he lives with his grandmother and he has his assistant who's his um best friend. Oh my gosh, can we just pause for a minute? Okay. What did his company even do? Oh, they make soaps. They oh, make okay, soaps. Okay, okay. They make bars of soaps and things like that. Like, and it's been it's been in the family for generations. I remember watching it the whole time but never actually focusing on like what they Yeah, do. but it's a generational thing and his mother his grandmother is a chairman all his father his grandfather and everything they've all died early and he's the first son that was born in three years so he has a girlfriend named anna and every one of these the different ones and different like the chinese one the taiwanese one the taiwan the korean one well, we got the second the second lead the girl his girlfriend's name is anna and she's a famous ballerina she they have a good relationship and they've been together for nine years but the thing is is that anytime she wants he wants to spend time with her she always um leaves him she's left him 11 times when they've had to do things together so yeah and this time he's planning to ask her for her hand in marriage and this and it's on a cruise ship that he's planning to do this on so sticky note girl and rich guy are going to be on the same cruise and Anna's gonna be with him, and Sticky Notes girl, Sticky Notes boy, is gonna be with her on the ship. Um, but when they get there, she has a cold, so she takes cold medicine. So she's all delirious and things like that. Sometimes that happens when you take cold medicine. Meanwhile, the guy has planned all the stuff on the ship with the captain, saying, "I'm going to marry my girlfriend. Can you guys do something special?" Yada yada yada. Dang, this thing is pigmented. Um, what else? Happened? What happened next? I'm trying to concentrate. I don't even know where you were at with this story. Oh, Sticky Notes girl boyfriend meets a very mature lady who looks a lot sexier than her, and he starts, you know, having dinner with her, massaging Basically, her hand. He cheated, on her. he cheated on her, but he's been cheating on her for the whole time they were together. they were together. But this time he just got caught. So this is the Taiwanese version. I'm telling you. So basically. And then at the same time, her family, her brother-in-law, and his father trick the rich guy into drinking 
a very potent sexual thing. Aphrodisiac. Yeah, what she said. Um, then afterwards, Stimulus. the father-in-law and the brother-in-law and the father pay somebody on the ship to open the rich guy's room. Meanwhile, Anna never got on the ship because she got the part to play Odette. Is her name Odette, the White Swan in Swan Lake? She doesn't want to play the Black Swan. She wants to play the White Swan because there's never been an Asian person to play the White Swan at Lincoln Center. So they call her back saying, "Oh, if you come right now, you can be the White Swan." So she never gets on the ship. She like forget about him. I got she, my career. And she she wants to go with her career. She doesn't even get on the ship. She doesn't even tell him until he calls her. And she already taking the plane to where? She, she, she already taking the plane to New York. So oh, basically, oh, and the dudes, um, the dudes. What's the girl's name? The main protagonist's name? Just call her Sticky Note Girl because I can't oh, pronounce Sticky her name. Oh, Sticky Note Girl, her brother-in-law. They're just basically trying to catch Mu. They're trying. They're trying to get the rich guy to. Um, oh, the rich guy. Because he 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 since he's the um president now he's he's trying to tear down their factory and they'll lose all their jobs on Ginger Island. That's where the girls from. And that's where her brother-in-law and her father is it's just trying to catch him in the act to blackmail him basically yeah so but the thing is is that up. since he he got drunk with the aphrodisiac and she has cold medicine in her system and she's all drowsy they pay a person to open up his cabin but at the same time her his his room number is 1009 hers is 1006 so the nine turns into a six by some hilarious accident yes so when she goes back to her room the door is already ajar open so she goes in she falls Drows, asleep drowsy as fudge. yes she on. goes in the room she she looks she looks at the number and it says 1006 but, she goes in somehow she pushes open the door because you know they left it you know a little bit cracked open she falls asleep he comes to the room and they get busy you know a lot of things happen and when they wake up when they wake up, they talk to each other, and he put the ring that he was going to propose to Anna with. Because he, he thought that was Anna that he was sleeping with, but it wasn't. And then when she goes back to her room, bing, bang, boom, she finds her boyfriend with the mature woman sleeping together in her bed, in the lingerie she bought on the ship, all that. And he basically kicked her out. She's on the deck crying, saying, well, this always happens to me. And then Wretched Guy's also mad because Anna left him once again and she promised she wouldn't leave him again. So he's keep like, your head up, king, and keep your head up, queen. So he's like, you know what? Since we're tired of people throwing us away and never caring about how we're feeling, we're going to do something tonight. She, he said, you're not going to be a sticky note girl tonight. You're going to be super glue so that I mean, no one can I'm ever rip you off. You. <laughs> I don't know if I do that with somebody I just like slept with. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know. This is the Taiwanese version I'm telling you guys about. That's the original. She comes back up to me and be like, you know what? We both been been clown today. Let's do something together after we just. Cause she tells her, she basically tells her story in a in a big old wrap up, and he's like, my girlfriend's always pushing me off for the eleventh time. So after that, she gets after they have a great night together, and she gets her revenge back on the guy. Blah blah blah. Bing bada boom, sis is throwing up. Yeah, she's nauseous. throwing up nauseous, and she finds out she's she pregnant. Finds out she's pregnant. She, she was a virgin, so that's the only guy she's ever slept with. So. She's pregnant. So basically he finds out she's pregnant. He goes she goes to the island to tell her mom and her two sisters. Uh the guy also goes there because he's gonna try and settle the matter with the factory. He doesn't know. She's from that island, Ginger Island. Yeah, he don't know that. So when she goes there, she goes there thinking, you know, but her mother thinks that her since her card was maxed out, that's the reason why she came and she was gonna get a beating. Her mother, her mother and sisters find out, oh, she's pregnant, and her mom always told her, save yourself till marriage. How did this happen? Blah, blah, blah. Rich guy finds out that she's also from the island, finds out that she's pregnant. So, her mom calls the gra his grandmother, saying that, your son got my daughter pregnant, what you gonna do? Your grandmother has always wanted a daughter-in-law and someone, you know, to take up the mantle for the next generation. So, she's like, I'm pregnant. So she's like, I'm going to come the next day, bring presents, don't do anything. She's like, we'll take care of you, even though the son is like, he doesn't want to do that. Yeah, he's in love with Anna, so he doesn't want anybody else. He doesn't mind, like, giving her, like, hush money. And we're not that. even there yet. But we're not he, there yet. We're not there yet, because... But he's considering that option. But he, he says he, he wants to abort the baby. He doesn't want anything to do with the baby. Basically, he don't want nothing to do with it. 
So the, the her mother locks him in a shed for the night so he doesn't escape. So in, he says tomorrow morning, he tells that to the girl, tomorrow morning, we're going to go and we're going to get the abortion. But it, And she says she's scared of needles. But she leaves a sticky note saying, I don't want you to go through this with me. I'm just going to go to the hospital. So she leaves. He wakes up, like, sees a sticky note. He rushes because she's going to do an abortion. Yeah, he doesn't want her to abort the baby. Though. No, he did. But oh, when he, shoot, but, he did? Yes, yes, he did. So when he, when he gets there and he sees those mothers oh, and yeah, things like that, and he, he sees did. how much pain and he hears the baby's heartbeat, he decides not he to decides um not to get abortion. Yeah. He realizes life. <laughs> so they come to an agreement. She gets married to him and the factory doesn't go anywhere. Basically. So on Ginger then, Island. So uh, basically he takes her in now where he lives, back in like the city. But the funny thing is he found out that her her family, her brother in law and his father tricked him. Oh yeah. And he gets he blames her. So this is when he writes up the contract that I'm going to give you money. You're going to be able to have a house and things like that. The baby stays with me. But we're, this is basically a divorce agreement. They're married, but they're going to divorce after the baby comes. Or yeah, get an annulment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, as the Romans say, I don't know. But They end up falling in love. They basically fall in love after a while. Then Anna comes back into the picture. Come back. Like, nobody's business. Because thing. because he sneaks away for his birthday, and she twisted her ankle so she can't dance anymore. She comes back. By then he's already in love with Sticky Note Girl, but he still stays with Anna for a little bit. Mm -hmm. She fi Anna finds out about the baby, and she's like, "Okay, the the mother she's gonna get things this and that. I'll take care of the baby like it's my own. I won't treat it any differently." Okay, but then after that, there's a party for Grandma. And the grandmother says, I'm going to introduce Sticky Note Girl as my official granddaughter-in-law. Because she doesn't like Anna. She, yeah, she don't like Anna. She don't mess with Anna. And things like that. But I on, either, but on the day of grand, of the grandmother's birthday, oh. Anna, Anna gives Sticky Note Girl a contract, a contract saying to a, a, a abortion oh, con no. an abortion contract. And at the same time, Rich Guy also has a contract. But it's saying, but it's actually a contract of... um. Her getting money and things like, like that, but promising to take care. Yeah, of her. promising to take care of her. It's not a, um a abortion Not's or anything. Right but when he when she calls him, she's like, "Do you have an agreement for me?" In an envelope, he's like, "Yeah." And she's like, "So this is what you want me to do?" He's like, "Yeah." And then she runs away. Yo, what got me so mad? When when when? To Hannah. Why did she even ask him specifically if he you know asked for an abortion? She just assumed, and that's why I felt like in a lot of relationships. And not relationships romantically, but just friendships, people. Communication is so important. Please just say it outright and ask what you need to know and make sure you So get basically, he chases her around trying to find her. She gets hit by a car. And she busts across she, the street. And she loses the baby. She, has, she, she, she doesn't want to see him ever. Again. Ever again. And I forgot oh, to mention. Forgot to mention Dylan. I forgot to mention Dylan. Dylan is a priest. He's not actually a priest. He's, not a priest. he's uh, I guess you could say a director at a museum. He's like a and young guy. Like a really young guy. He falls in love with her. He's also trying to find his sister, who he lost a long time ago, which is actually Anna. Um, but he actually falls in love with Sticky Note Girl. He changes her life, and she goes to China for two years. So now she's that changed her. That yeah, was Europe. no, it was China uh -huh. that she went to for two years. She was in China. She changed her whole look, her whole attitude. She's not a pushover anymore. She says no if she wants to. She's a boss ass, you know. And I guess you no, know, she is. And yeah. um, rich guy realizes that's the love of his life. He messed up. Yeah, he don't even love Anna no more. <laughs> and the baby room is still intact. He still loves her. Anna and him are still friends, but Anna's still trying to um win him, win him back over, but it's not working. Like, since since she's since, too since, late, since she can't since she can't scared. dance anymore, she opened up her own ballet studio and things like that. To turn but by some faith he finds sticky note girl and he tries to woo her back. He even he even keeps in contact with her family. And they now, you know, believe him that he actually loves her. Um, blah 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 blah. Eventually, she he wins her affection. They get back together. They get married, they and, and they have a baby happily ever after. The end. The end. The Korean one's like that. The Japanese one is different because she loses the baby, but she actually just you know it's it's like a happy girls thing. Like a, I'm gonna just say like a not feminist, but like 
Like, like she doesn't need a man to like take yeah, care of her. She actually follows her, her dreams. She actually focuses on herself more in her career, and she's not gonna like let that happen to her again. You know. Yeah, so that's how that ended. But you know, they love each other, but they don't get together she or anything. I mean, maybe they could later in the future. You know, after she finally settles on her own and fulfills everything she wants to with herself before she's ready to bring back somebody now else. the recent one is the chinese one you're my destiny now that one my friends that's my favorite one because when anna comes back my dude says i'm in love with her we're not together anymore you stood me up 11 times and she's like what can i do to change blah 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 and the funny thing is he loves sticky note girl and she loves him too but she can't trust her he, she can't trust him she really can't Honestly, and, it, and it's really know. funny but because he loves her even though anna's there he loves her and he tells anna straight to her face you left me i'm not being with you anymore and i was like Whoa. he told her but she was being evil she almost tried to kill sticky note girl and her baby she got in an accident and in the hospital they told her she's unable to have kids anymore so Oh my god. There goes her chances. How'd that happen? Um But um she has a rare disease. I think she has a disease or something like that. Oh, maybe like ovary or something. She has a disease and then she finds out she had she waited too long and she can't have kids anymore. That's what happened with that. But that's how the Chinese drama went. The Thai one is the same thing as the Taiwanese one. The Korean one is my second favorite. My sister's always singing that damn song. Nah, I be singing, um, Goodbye, my love. Yeah, but since we're finished talking about dramas, I was gonna tell you all a, a, a thing that a lot, of people, a lot of people know about me. Um, besides, um, Korean, like, dramas and anime and things like that, my other hobby is doll collecting. That's not something I tell a lot of people. Like, my family supports it. Well, just my sister, oh, shoot. my mother, and my father. Resident my brother. Evil. Sorry. My brother still thinks it's childish. I don't care, though. But... Ooh, dang. Bead. So, yeah, I collect Barbie dolls. I love dolls. I love dressing them up. Um, I have the LOL OMG girls. I also love watching Barbie movies. Yeah, I said it. But yeah, let me see. I'm going. She used liner. I don't know what kind of liner she used, but I'm gonna be using the P. Louise, um, basic in vivid violet. Oh, that sounded weird. The last time I used this was on Rachel's prom night. So I'm going to be trying to line this. Shoot, I already forgot what I wanted to look up. I'm going to be using this. Don't you know you're a beautiful liar? Oh, you're gonna be Chris Redfield. Oh, that's Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Oh, I think I already saw this. Yes, Leon. Oh. I'm actually surprised with how this look came out, though, guys. But I'm going to be using this little thing I have. Hopefully, it'll work. I'm going to try my best to get this. I can either do good or F it up. Hopefully this adaptation will go well. So. Never do. Honestly, guys, I'm just going to. Okay, I'm just going to. Sorry guys, if I'm quiet, this is the first time ever that I'm doing something like this. I believe my birthday is almost done. I'm happy that I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, I look through everybody. At the same time, I'm very um scared because this is a little bit more intricate than I'm used to. Put up your big girl undies and do what you want to do. I know, girl. Trust me, I'm trying. All right. So that came out pretty well. I'm going I to. Have Zenzu beans existed? 
since humans existed, then Lord help us. Okay, back to the anime. I'm just, oh, I stopped talking about the boss. The dolls, I mean. Yeah, but I love Barbie movies. Even though I'm this, like, 21, I love Barbie movies. So, my, my sister like Barbie movies, too, but we mostly sing the songs they connected. Um, we're gonna find it. What am I some of my favorite movies? Princess and the Popper. Um, Fairytopia. Thumbelina. Pegasus. Um, things like that. Uh, I don't want to kick this up, though. But I'm going to... Oh. Jujutsu Kaisen. But that's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I bring down the lights a bit. If you guys can... Hopefully you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can get it almost the same so you know these things aren't exact <laughs> so you already have this one up it's fine it's all about creativity i need to get better eye tools guys so i can like because this one's a little bit frayed like it's not all that but you know you gotta work with what you get. <gasps> God, did I cut myself? I did. It's fine. Uh, anything else to talk about? Who's your guys' favorite? Uh, what's your favorite anime? You guys. Um, everybody knows about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z Kai. The main shonen shows you right. Naruto. Shonen. What else is mean? Um, Bleach. Man, everybody just says the new, like, big three is going to be, um... My Hero. My Hero, Black Clover, uh... What's the other one? Mm, shit, I'm going to my phone. Well, I'm really excited to see next year... Is it Fire Force? For... Fire Force? Is it Fire Force? I have not watched that yet. I love Fire Force. Fire Force is pretty good. Like, it's taking me some time. It's, it's it's not like I said I'm not gonna watch it. It's interesting. It looks good. I don't watch second season yet, but yeah. But Fire Force, I don't know if it's potentially maybe. I never watched. I just watched my mainstream. I just shit. know like my hero, Black Clover, like those are ones that will seem to fill in dim shoes, you know. Okay, so now that I'm finished with the eyes, I have to put on lashes. But let me see what kind of lashes go. So many new things are coming. Ooh, what does you get? Like, Tower of God. I'm not saying that's gonna be big three or whatever, but I just can't wait Tower to see of that God. continue. It's nice to see some webtoons actually. Be God of High School. Animated. Love it. Never watched it yet. God of High School is awesome. Right. My, my, my my sister is the type of person that when a new show comes out, she go wait till the whole thing's finished and then she go watch it. I mean, it, it has to be. It has to be something I've waited for and it's good, and then mm -hmm. I'll like stay on Let's it. See, and watch this it. one's right. But if it's not, then it's like. Uh, like the got, guys, this this video is mad long and it's fine. Ooh, that's gonna look pretty. If I read it, I'm not gonna watch it. Sometimes I do, but sometimes that's I don't. Actually not. Like the promise Neverland, I I already know we all whoever read it already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I finished reading it. It's it, it's so, good. I mean, I'll watch it, but like for the sake, because I'm the type of person once I watch it, I want more. You know what I'm saying? So if and she not, and she doesn't want to watch it, and then like she has to wait, 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 and it's gonna be like the anticipation. Yeah, you know. Stuff I only did that for was. Funny thing is, I rewatched One Piece. Dragon Ball and I reached back to the Wano arc, and now I have to wait. See, exactly. Like, that's just. Like, like, I, like I stopped at the part where Big Mom comes to the Wano arc, and. Uh, Sometimes you can just read the manga and Queen. Like, yeah, I know, but, like, what is the animation? And, like, there was a webtoon that I was reading, and. Because, you know, for webtoons, if anyone doesn't have webtoons, but, like, for webtoons. You have to do like the free pass, the fast pass. And there was this other website I went on and it had some of them a bit continued. And I was like, <gasps> and I just took the whole, maybe half of my night reading the rest of it. I was so satisfied. I was like, yes. So you have me, so I'm not saying I'm not patient, but if I can get to see what happens next, rather reading it or even watching it, then I'm going to. Also, I also like to read a lot of Yaoi. So the mangas I love to read. Oh, I, I read it on. I'm a full joke. <laughs> I'm a full joke. 
I, I don't say I'm hardcore. I got my sister on it though. I didn't get her. I, I, no, no, no. I didn't get her like you know like on it like how I'm on. But sometimes she'd be like, Hannah, did you read this one? I'm like, heck yeah, I did. Like, yeah, she tells me like, man, you're. Free. I feel like I'm a veteran Fujoshi. I've read everything. Like, people are like, have you read this? Have you read? I read all of it. I read all of it. What about the others by the other Arthur? Yes, I read all of it. My favorite um ones to watch are um Sekaichi no Hatsuki and Junjo Romantica. <laughs> I was listening to that yesterday. Uh, but my sister's always like, seriously? And I'm like, yeah. She, 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 she's come to understand my, my um my weirdness of my life. Everybody outfit. different. Everybody likes their own stuff. I don't judge. My sister, the only people who would, like, understand me fully is my sister and my mom. Like, my mom knows I like Yaoi, even though she doesn't really, like, understand it. She just knows it's, like, animated guys, you know. Yeah, but my mom knows my love for it. My sister knows my love for it, too. Sometimes she comes in her room, she's like, are you reading Yaoi? And I'm like, yeah. she's, like, hiding her phone. Like, sometimes I'll be hiding it. She's like, how do you know you're reading yeah, Yaoi? You know you're reading, reading. reading. And I'm like, I know I don't have to hide it, but still, it's fun when I do it. But yeah, my sister's my closest, my best friend besides my mom. Isn't that her best friend? Yeah, my baby's my best friend too. I share all my secrets to him. I say all my secrets to my sister. And my sister doesn't judge me whatsoever. Like, I, I love her. Like, I can tell her the most, like, she accepts my weirdness. Sometimes I'm so weird. Like, she's like, how do you come up with this stuff? And I was like, I don't know. And she and she just laughs at me. But I like I love that she laughs at me and she doesn't judge me or stuff like that. That's why she's like, like who got my my, my best like my best friend. I don't really like sometimes she's like I don't like how did you and I'm like I don't know. She loves me all the same and sometimes like when I'm down and stuff like that or like I'm self doubting myself she like helps me and things like that. But I love my little sister. She's annoying to no end, to no end. Like in what aspect are you talking about? You know how all little sisters are annoying in their own way and things like that. Like, I, like, lately I've been clingy. Like, she's always been a cling, clingy person in a sense because she loves doing um koala hugs, basically. You know how a koala just like this? She likes to come behind me with her feet and her arms and then she just like that. Which I don't mind because she's, she's very cute. Like, if you if you look at my sister and stuff like that, you think that she's not, she's, she's a cold person. Like, she's not, like, you know, lovable and stuff. But if you get to know her, she's a softie. She's a really big softie. And she may seem like, like, you know, she doesn't have her feelings hurt or things like that. But she gets her feelings hurt very easily. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like... <laughs> she's, 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 a, she's a cute little squishy person. She's, she's my little baby monkey. She she doesn't like being called an adult. She likes when I call her my little baby monkey. She's my Ron child, which is basically Japanese for Rachel. I got that from Detective Conan. That's my ham over there. And then she calls me ham. I thought she was calling me Han. H A N. No. No, she's calling me ham. H A M. Don't know where that came from, but I answer it to it anyway. She wants to call me ham. That's totally fine. Yeah, that's all she called me. You're my schwester. Oh yeah, and my since my my sister is German and my dad lived in Germany for more than not me, not this sister. Not sister. My, I have an older sister. She's lived in. She was born in Germany, and my dad lived in Germany for more than like twenty years. So, and our family's from Belize, but he left there when he was very young, and he lived in um Germany for a while. So, he's mainly European in my in in a sense, like most of his characteristics and things like that. And um, he used to speak German to us when we were little, but he stopped. But my sister behind me picked it up again, and she's been also teaching me but um so she's always talking to me in german and you know sometimes i get it sometimes i don't get it but most of the time she's always calling me schwester which is sister in german and her um her middle name is actually german it's like a german play i don't know if it's actually Do deutsch or german or not it's deutsch or german, i don't know but our older sister she she's gave german. her her middle name which is ashley e s h E H E S C H L E Y, which is um the which is English for Ashley. Like the play, I don't know play on that word. I don't know. My, I was I'm always jealous because my middle name is Alexandria. My brother gave me my middle name. He's always wanted a son named Alexander, but instead he gave me Alexandria. It seems very nice, but you know I wish I would have named. I was like, she has a whole different language for a middle name. Like that's so cool. 
Hey, yeah, but yeah. since since we were little, I only remember certain words like um tankashun, detashun, um fada, muta, like muta. Only certain words I remember. Remember hund, uh, gutna, guten, man, things like that. These simple words. And in school, when I was y much younger, I used to tell people I knew I speak German, and I just said those simple words, and people were like, "Oh my gosh!" They're like, "Are you half German?" I used to play off on that. I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Yeah." It's not good to do. Right? It was cool. You wanted to be one of the cuckoos. You know what that is? You be like the cuckoos. Ugh. I just like doing that sometimes. I didn't do it all the time, but yeah. Um, I use these lashes, which I'm always using. What are they exactly? the lash couture full mink i'm gonna have to get another one of these because i've been playing off on these lashes it's already 50 minutes it's fine most of these videos i do are long so yeah that's the work i did with this i'm loving it i'm gonna use this a lot more often i don't know if i can do a i'm gonna try and do a follow-up with this but yeah let's hurry up and do the face I'm going to be filming another video after this, probably. Oh my god. What, baby? I was just going to type in here. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit about us. Yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. We already talked about K dramas, anime. Mm. I mean, I like video games. That's me. Oh, my sister and my brother love video games. I'm not that much of a video game head at no, all. she is not. I'm not. I, it's not like I hate video games. It's not like, oh, I'll never play video games. No, I like video games. I don't like certain ones. Like I like fighting ones. I like Tekken. I like racing games like Mario Kart. Um, my, my brother likes FIFA. My sister my sister loves um Rocket League, which is on the Switch. Well... Um, she, um, I'm an all she, video she's an all-rounder, but those are some of her favorite games. She loves Attack on Titan. She got me into Attack on Titan. I, I said I would never play, but I actually kind of like Bro, it. she sucks at video That's it, sucks at video games. But Hannah is the type of person, like, she will not play any other game but, like, Pokemon. Or, <laughs> that's about it. I swear. Yo, I was just telling her what? about a game I want to buy and play with her. It's a it's scary like, game, and I said I'd play it with her. But still, it's not like for me to say, like, if I brought, if I bought, or if I was playing The Last of Us, or The Last of Us 2, or if I was playing any Resident Evil game, she would play with me. Like, say if I, um, hopefully next year I get, re um, not Resident, but Village, which is Resident Evil 8. If I get that, like, she, she won't play that with me, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I say that's how I... I'm I'm gonna try, I'm trying to change that I'm I'm tr I'm trying to change that habit because I I want to do stuff that she likes to do. Like most of the time she says she wants to play like Attack on Titan and stuff. I try I try my best or Rocket League. I love Rocket League. I'm not gonna lie. I love Rocket League. I'm not gonna lie. I do like Rocket League. It just hurts my hand a lot, so I can't play as many rounds. But I like watching her play it though, cause. She's really, she's really good at it. I kind of suck at it, but I just love driving around Bro, and I trying to get it. in the goal. But I love Rocket League. But like she said before, the only games I do. Or Among Us. I was trying to tell her to download Among Us on her phone so we can. I don't play. actually remember that. And well, you gotta download it. But Among Us is so much fun. I just made, <laughs> made a couple of friends from Among Us. Like, that's such a good... I don't know, you can play, like, Mario and or Fallout. stuff like that. Like, I love playing Super Mario Bros. at her. She plays, and like, classics and stuff. She doesn't play, like, up-to-date games. Uh, yeah, I don't really play up-to-date games. Like, I don't know why. I should I should try my best. I mean, you don't have to. Everybody's different. Um, I, but I love fighting games. That much I, could, I can say. Like, if it's, like, one of those fighting games, like Tekken or DBZ or something like that, I like those ones. Or like Naruto Shippuden, um, things like that. But most of the games I play is just like Pokemon. Basically, that's all I play. I have a, I have recently she got a Pokemon. I have the 2DS XL. Maybe one day. Which looks like a three. Oh, it's right here. I mean, I might start a let's play, and you can see her play Pokemon. Like this is what I have. I have not all of them, but I have. I just got Pokemon Moon. 
But I have Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon Alpha, Self Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, Pokemon White Version 2, I have Pokemon, Pokemon Rumble, I have Pokemon, right, she has Pokemon. She has Pokemon. Dungeon. <laughs> oh, and then... And then I have for the Switch, I have... Um, she's got both the Let's Go's, Eevees, and Pikachu's. And she's got Sword and Shield. That's all you gotta say. And I have the Expansion Pass for Sword. Oh my gosh, Hannah. That's I'm getting the one for Shield. Yeah, like you can... I, and then I have a bunch of Pokemon cards. I have a Pokemon poster over... So if you guys want to talk about Pokemon in the comments, I'm here. A lot of, I, I like, I'm here. Uh, but funny thing is, I don't know a lot of people like Pokemon... My my sister's not that big of a fan of Pokemon, but she, from, am, from 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 time to time she likes to play um. Let's go Pikachu or let's go I, I Eevee, watch her play. Or and things or things like that. But sometimes sometimes I'm a little bit. I love you. I was trying. I'm to... a little. I'm a, sometimes I'm, my sister's like, can I do this? Or you? I'll I'll let her do it. But I was like, She's if I let you, if I let you play, you have to follow my exact ones. Or she won't let or, me make any decisions. Or or. Or if she plays it, I'm like, okay, which one do you think it is? And then she'll ask me, and then she does it. But sometimes I'm a little, I'm a little mean to her because I'm like competitive she when I do it. Mean. She don't want to do nothing. She don't want to let me, like, cause she got the Pokeball Center. Oh, for Pokemon, Pokemon, let's go. Like, I don't really let her have Pokemon it, which is sad, but yeah. I tell her, let me use the Pokeball. No, I don't want to get to use the Pokeball. Like, all right, bitch, you can use the Pokeball. Okay. Oh. Like, I'm debating if I should make a channel with just like a gaming channel. Stuff. Yeah, she's been wanting to do that for a while, and I told her to do it because I'll try and play games with her. I promised I would. It could get me into different games, but I, I said she could. It's just so hard. Oh, I'm, I'm going so to be finally using the Laura Mercier honey I'm powder. So I'm going to see how this goes, but yeah, this this video is way too long already. But who cares? You can just cut it in parts. You don't have to teach me how to- I'm just- I'm learning to edit, guys. I really am. That's why some of the videos look better than the others. You know why. Ah, sorry, on, Excuse me. Oh, so it looks nice. You might see this- this makeup in a, another video because I'm going to be doing multiple videos. It's like 9.50 right now and I'm like gonna do multiple videos right now. 9.38. It says 40. That clock? You've been had- actually 9.39. You get, that clock is like a one minute fast and it's Okay. Hold up. So I said I was gonna use this highlight since you know it's all pastel y and whatnot. So I'm going to be using Spectra and Orion. So Oh, this is what I didn't talk about in my in the video that I didn't post. I love J pop. I haven't met a lot of people like J pop. I love Japanese kind of pop. Music. I love all kind of music, but Asian, I don't know, but I'm open. I love all co oh wait can i is this I mean, I showing whatever sounds nice is this coming out is this That's coming oh damn i haven't logged into my Ooh. discord in a hot minute <laughs> all right huh not you i was talking to myself because i'm looking i'm like where's the highlight but bam it's right there oh, all right so that's the highlight guys i just have to do lips i might just do a cute lip gloss right now because I'm impressed for time. Should I do this? No, this is pastel. I do. I should do a very nice lip thing. If I had all the money in the world, I don't even know if that will look nice. Will this look nice? Oh I don't know, guys. I don't like being the imposter. Nah, bro, I look like an old granny fam. I'm taking this off. I can't chill. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna pull glass and call it a night. Alright. Hajime Soka. Hajime Soka. Hajime Mashta. Taco Yuri. Well, I might just put on my, my usual Becca glow gloss. That always works. But yeah, I was talking about J-pop. Ooh, mm. my favorite. But yeah, I'll talk about that in my next video. So this is the final look. 
using the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. I'm loving it. It's very beautiful. This is the most intricate look I've done. Like, all this looks very nice. Like, so... Please like, comment, subscribe. This thing's very long. I'm gonna stop it right now. See you guys next time. Say bye, Rachel.